guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you've all had a wonderful day. Um, so I have another haul for you. It is a body shop haul. Um, so for those of you that watched my what I got for my birthday video, um, I got given a gift card from my mum and dad for the body shop. Um, but obviously we went into lockdown pretty quickly after my birthday, so I didn't get the chance to spend it. Um, and unfortunately they don't accept gift cards online which is really annoying um, but also kind of good at the same time because I went through a bit of a stage of trying out um, body shop skincare and it just did not agree with my skin at all um, and now I'm on simple and it's lovely and I love it um, but yes so I went into the body shop today with my sister um, obviously after two meter distance um, and I spent my voucher, I spent just over my voucher total. Um, so the voucher total was £50, I was very lucky to get. Um, and if I'm honest, I really wasn't sure what to purchase. Um, and then I sort of thought, well, I don't need skincare. Um, what am I sort of... Not lacking, because I'm definitely not lacking any, like, toiletries or anything like that. But I thought, you know, what sort of things do I want to focus on? So I mainly went for hair care, if I'm honest, because um, my hair is looking a bit ratty at the minute. It does need a cut, um, but obviously we are waiting until hairdressers and things can reopen. I have put my appointment preemptively of when that happens. Um, but yeah, so let's just dive in and have a look at what I bought. I've got my receipt. Uh, so the first little set of things that I picked up are in the sheer butter scent. Just gonna move this bag out of the way for a minute. Um, so the first thing I picked up is the Body Shop Sheer Butter Replenishing or Richly Replenishing Hair Mask for dry hair prone to damage. Um, so obviously my ends, as you can see, are bleached. Um, my sister did give it a little bit of a trim. It's not perfect, but it did get rid of some of the deadness on it in waiting for my hairdresser. Um, so yeah, she did stand quite far away from me, but we both had masks on, so we were being very safe. Um, but yeah, so this just says, where is it? Does it say anything? Apply onto cleansed, damp hair and leave for at least five minutes before rinsing off. Um, now I always tend to leave my hair masks on a lot longer. I don't know if you're meant to, um, but this one smells really nice. Um, they were really helpful in there. They did ask if we wanted any help or anything. Um, but yes, that's that one. And then I picked up the shampoo and conditioner that went with it. So this, um, I'll do prices now before I forget. So this was, where are we? Uh, £12, um, which is pretty cool. Um, it's quite expensive, I know, and that's why I don't tend to use the Body Shop very often, but I did ask for a Body Shop voucher specifically so that I could um, go in and sort of treat myself to a few bits. So that was £12 and then the shampoo and conditioner were £7 each which is so much more than I would normally spend on shampoo and conditioner but because my hair is dry and damaged I thought I've got a voucher, let's treat myself. Um, so yeah, I um, it's the same sort of thing really. You, we all know how shampoo and conditioner works. But this says 100% vegan, forever against animal testing, which is really nice. So I got those, yeah, they were seven pounds each. Um, ugh, ugh, stretching them. Uh, so I picked up another of these um, chamomile sumptuous cleansing butters. I have a full one that I'm currently using, um, but because I didn't really know what to pick up, um, I thought I would, um, get one of these so that I have stock for when my one runs out as I do love this stuff. It is my favorite thing to take off makeup. Um, so I don't see a problem in having another one for when mine runs out. So I've got that, that is 11 pounds, um, which might sound like a lot, but you do get 90 million here or 76 grams, which is a lot and it lasts for ages. So yeah, I was happy with that. Now the other thing I picked up, um, and I've seen a few people talk about this, this is the Elderflower Unperfumed Cooling Eye Gel for all skin types. Um, it doesn't particularly smell of much, um, but I've heard it sort of helps eliminate dark circles and things like that. So yeah, I was 
it was one of those ones where it was like, oh, what do I buy? So yeah, I grabbed this, um, and this was £8.50, um, which again, I would not normally spend after sort of purchasing the Simple Skincare, which seems to just love my skin, um, and they're sort of like £1, £2 items. So to get something that's £8.50 for my face is a bit scary. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to give it a go and see how we get on. And then the last thing I picked up with my voucher was this. Um, it's the Body Shop Satsuma Body Butter. Um, this has been my favourite scent for, well, ever since I sort of discovered the Body Shop really. So when I was back in school, it was the first body butter I ever picked up and the smell just is nostalgia right there. Um, so yeah, I picked this up and it was £6, which is a lot for the tiny little tub. You only get 50 mil. Um, I imagine it will go a fairly long way and the Body Shop body butters do make your skin smell lovely. Um, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of their prices. But I do love some of their products. I'm really excited to try the hair care. And then lastly, as I was leaving, um, the lady told me I'd got something free. Um, so I actually got this free, um, and this is like the hemp, hemp bag, hemp 2020. Um, so this should have been £13 on its own, but I don't quite know. There's a few things that have stars next to them on my receipt, and because of that I got a, yeah, I got this for free. So it did have a hemp hand cream in it, but I already gave that to my sister because I don't really like the smell of the hemp hand cream. Um, it also came with a British Rose shower gel, which is 60ml. I haven't sniffed it yet, let's give it a sniff. Oh, that actually smells really nice, not overly rosy. Um, it just smells floral, that's really nice. And then I also got a Shea body butter, which is lovely, I really like the smell of the Shea stuff. Um, so yeah, I was pretty excited about that and I've got a cool little bag, so... Yeah, it's always nice to get something free, isn't it? Um, but yeah, as I say, I don't... Since sort of discovering that the skincare from the body shop just doesn't really sit well with my skin, um, I have to say it's not a company I will probably purchase from on the regular, purely because I have so many toiletries in my stocks that I really don't need anything else. Um, this will always be a staple in my collection because it is incredible. Um, this one just smells amazing. Um, and it was one of those sort of last sort of things where it was like, oh, I'll pick it up because I've got this amount left. Um, so yeah, I grabbed that. And obviously this one was a bit of a whim as well. Um, but I am really excited to see how my hair gets on with these. I'm hoping... Um, that it will like them. Um, I don't wash my hair that often. I actually only wash it about once a week. So if I have to purchase these again, I am okay with that because I don't wash my hair that often. I'm gonna have to hide them away from Dre because he drives me nuts when he uses my expensive products. Um, and I, I know some people might be like, oh, well, you know, seven pounds and 12 pounds isn't expensive in comparison to other brands that you can buy and things like that but when you're the kind of person that spends like one or two pound on shampoo and conditioner the expensive brand is not really what you go for which is probably why my hair is quite ratty but it does need a cut um so yeah but that is everything i picked up from the body shop um i was really excited to spend my voucher i just really didn't know what to buy um because normally I'd have picked up their skincare. But now I know that Simple is just so good for my skin. I know that that's a brand I'm gonna stick with. So when it came to sort of picking up bits from the body shop, I was really like, oh, what shall I buy? But yeah, um, so I picked these up and I'm really excited to give them a go. If you would like to know how I get on with these, then leave me a comment in the, in the section down below and I'll let you know how I get on. Um, if there's anything that you think is a great product from the body shop then let me know um i'd always like to know what someone's sort of staple product is from a brand um but yeah that's everything from me i really hope you guys enjoyed this video take care and i'll see you in my next one bye